Observing the moon through a telescope is not merely an act of looking at a distant celestial body. It is an extraordinary journey into the heart of our nearest cosmic neighbor. This experience provides a unique opportunity to connect with the universe in a profoundly personal way, revealing insights into the moon's geological history, its physical characteristics, and its significance in the broader context of space exploration. Each glimpse through the eyepiece allows us to engage with the intricacies of the lunar surface, transforming a simple pastime into a powerful exploration of our place in the cosmos. To embark on a successful lunar observation, the first step is to select the right night. The ideal conditions for viewing the moon require a clear sky, low humidity, and minimal light pollution. These factors are critical as they enhance visibility ensuring that the details you observe are sharp and colors are vibrant. Urban areas often struggle with light pollution, which can obscure celestial details. Thus, seeking darker locations, such as rural areas or designated stargazing sites, can significantly improve your viewing experience. The use of light pollution maps can aid in identifying optimal viewing locations, allowing you to escape the glow of city lights. Choosing the right phase of the moon is equally important. Observing during the first or last quarter phases is particularly advantageous because, during these times, the sunlight strikes the lunar surface at a low angle. This lighting creates long shadows that accentuate the intricate details of craters, valleys, and mountain ranges, making them more pronounced and visually striking. Observing the moon during these phases can reveal the drama of its topography, making it an engaging subject for amateur astronomers and seasoned enthusiasts alike. When it comes to equipment, a telescope with a minimum aperture of 4 inches is ideal for lunar observations. A larger aperture is advantageous, as it allows the telescope to collect more light, which in turn reveals finer details and nuances on the moon's surface. For instance, with a telescope of this size, you might begin to discern not only the craters but also the small hills and valleys that lie between them. A good quality refractor or reflector telescope can significantly enhance your viewing experience, providing a clear and detailed view of lunar features. The choice of eyepiece also plays a crucial role. Using a lower magnification can offer a wider field of view while higher magnification can provide intricate details of specific features. In addition to choosing the right equipment, employing a moon filter can greatly enhance your viewing experience. These filters reduce the brightness of the moon, preventing glare and allowing your eyes to adjust more comfortably. This adjustment is essential for seeing the subtler features of the lunar landscape, such as the delicate shading of craters and the texture of the maria. The difference can be astounding. Without a filter, the brilliance of the moon can wash out details, while with one, you can appreciate the variety of tones and shadows that define the lunar surface. As you peer through the telescope's eyepiece, you will be greeted by a mesmerizing view of the moon's surface. The prominent craters, such as Tycho, known for its striking rays that radiate outwards, and Copernicus, with its terraced walls and central peak, become focal points of your observation. Each crater tells a story of impact events that shaped the lunar landscape over billions of years. Tycho, for instance, is one of the youngest craters on the moon and is easily identifiable by its bright rays, which extend across the surrounding surface, a testament to the violent forces that created it. Copernicus, on the other hand, is older but equally fascinating with its complex structure and surrounding bright ejecta blanket. The dark maria, or, seas, formed by ancient volcanic activity, create a dramatic contrast with the brighter highlands. These maria are smoother and less cratered, suggesting a younger geological age compared to the heavily cratered highlands. Observing these features provides insights into the moon's volcanic past, highlighting how it was once a dynamic world that experienced significant geological activity. The moon's maria, such as the Sea of Tranquility and the Sea of Serenity, invite contemplation of the processes that shaped them, from lava flows to the slow cooling of molten rock. 
As you delve deeper into your observations, you'll discover the fascinating network of rays that extend from impact sites, showcasing the violence of these cosmic events. These features can often be seen best when the sun is low on the horizon, casting shadows that enhance their visibility. The interplay of light and shadow across the surface highlights the ruggedness of the landscape and encourages a deeper appreciation of its beauty. Mountain ranges such as the Apennines, which run along the eastern edge of the Sea of Serenity, invite exploration and admiration, offering a glimpse into the moon's dynamic geological past. The surface of the moon is rich with textures, displaying subtle variations in color and shading that reflect its complex history. As you focus on different areas, you might notice areas of light and dark that signify differences in mineral composition and the age of the terrain. The lunar regolith, or surface material, varies widely across the moon, affecting how light interacts with it. This interplay of light and shadow is essential for understanding the moon's geology. It reveals the ruggedness of the landscape and encourages a deeper appreciation of its beauty. Observing the moon can lead to a greater understanding of how geological processes, such as impacts and volcanic activity, have shaped its surface over billions of years. For those who wish to take their lunar experience further, using polarizing filters can significantly improve visibility. These filters enhance contrast and help to minimize reflections, allowing for clearer details in the craters and maria. Additionally, if you're inclined to document your findings, smartphone adapters enable you to capture stunning images directly through the telescope's eyepiece. This ability to photograph your observations not only allows you to share your experiences with friends and family but also fosters a sense of community among fellow astronomy enthusiasts. Engaging with local astronomy clubs or participating in online forums can further enrich your understanding of the moon and broader astronomical concepts. These communities often organize viewing events, provide resources for beginners, and offer a platform to share experiences and insights. Learning from experienced astronomers can deepen your appreciation for the science behind what you see through the telescope and may inspire you to explore other celestial bodies. Many clubs also host educational sessions, workshops, and guest speakers who can provide valuable knowledge and experience to budding astronomers. Ultimately, lunar observation transcends the simple act of looking at a distant orb in the night sky. It serves as a profound reminder of our connection to the universe, sparking curiosity and wonder about the cosmos. This experience can ignite a passion for exploration that extends beyond the moon, encouraging us to look further into the depths of space and contemplate the mysteries that lie beyond our planetary home. The journey of discovering the moon with its craters, maria, and unique geological features, opens the door to a broader quest for knowledge and understanding, inviting us to explore the wonders of the universe in all its complexity. As we continue to develop our understanding of the moon, we are reminded of its influence on life on Earth. The moon governs our tides, stabilizes our planet's axial tilt, and has been an essential reference point for navigation and timekeeping throughout human history. It serves not only as a subject of scientific study but also as a canvas for human creativity and cultural expression. From ancient civilizations that revered it as a deity to modern space missions aiming to return humans to its surface, the moon embodies our quest for knowledge and exploration. Throughout history, the moon has held a prominent place in human culture and thought. Ancient societies often attributed divine qualities to the moon, incorporating it into their mythologies and calendars. Many cultures viewed the moon as a symbol of femininity, often associating it with various goddesses. The cycles of the moon were crucial for agricultural societies, guiding planting and harvesting times. In literature and art, the moon has served as a muse, inspiring countless works that explore themes of beauty, mystery, and longing. The future of lunar exploration is bright, with various missions planned to study its surface in greater detail and possibly establish a human presence. NASA's Artemis program aims to return humans to the moon, focusing on sustainable exploration and the establishment of a lunar base. 
This new era of exploration could lead to significant advancements in our understanding of the moon and its resources, such as water ice, which may support future manned missions to Mars and beyond. International collaborations are also underway, with space agencies from around the world aiming to explore the lunar surface and share knowledge and technology. As we look through our telescopes, we are not only observing the moon as it is today but also contemplating its future and our role in that narrative. Each observation is a step into the past.